Let's review simple present use. We use simple present for general truths, the ice floats, daily routine, mom often cooks dinner. Remember, after the subject, you have to add a word about frequency, always, often, sometimes, etc. Permanent state. I live in Antofagasta. What are the forms for simple present? First, auxiliary verbs do and does. When we ask for information, new information, we use auxiliary verbs do and does. How do we ask a question? Add at first auxiliary verb do or does, depending. Does is for he, she, it. Do is for I, you, we, and they. Auxiliary verb, pronoun, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Main verb, which is the action, and the complement, plus the question mark. For example, do you like my new house? Do, auxiliary verb, you, pronoun, like, main verb, complement. What do you like? My there are two types of answers. You have the short answer and the long answer. The short answer is yes, no, pronoun and the auxiliary verb, depending on the question. Yes, we do. Yes, pronoun, auxiliary verb, do. The long answer, yes, no, pronoun, main verb, and the complement. Yes, we like, we like what? Your new house, oh. Yes, she likes, she likes what? Hamburgers and pizza, oh. How do you know when to add S, E, S, or I, E, S? Remember the present simple spelling rules. When the verb ends with double S, S, H, C, H, X, or an O, you have to change the end of the verb with E, S, E, S. For example, he misses, he finishes, he goes. A consonant or a consonant plus a Y at the end of the verb, you have to add I-E-S. For example, he studies, he cries. A vowel plus a Y at the end of the verb, you have to add an S. For example, he plays. These rules only apply when the subject is a he, a she, or an it. There is and there are. We use there is and there are for description and verification. There is is for singular and countable nouns. For example, singular noun. There is one pencil. One, singular. Uncountable nouns, there is two kilos of sugar, uncountable noun, sugar. There are, we use there are for plural countable nouns. For example, there are five books. You can count the books and it's plural, it's more than two. Is there, are there? We use this type of questions for verification. You know what you have, however, you are not sure if you have it or the amount of stuff you have. For example, is there a pencil? You know you have a pencil, but you are not sure if it's there. 
Are there five books? You know you have books, you know you have five books, but you are not sure if they are in the box or if they are there. How many? How much? We use how many and how much for description. How many is for countable nouns. For example, how many pencils are there? Pencils, countable nouns. There are four pencils. How much? Uncountable nouns. How much sugar do you have? There is one kilo of sugar. Sugar, uncountable noun. Hey, do you like my new house? Yes, we do. We like your new house. Oh, do you have time to help me unpack my things? Yes, we do. We have time to help you. How many books are there, Lola? There are five books. Are there any pencils, John? How many pencils? Yes, there are four pencils. Four hours later. Oh, I'm tired and hungry. Do you want to lunch with me? Good idea. Yes, we do. Do you like pasta? Yes, I do. Pasta is my favorite food. I hate pasta. Yuck. What do you like, Lola? She likes junk, unhealthy food. Yummy, delicious. What's your favorite food, Lola? She likes hamburgers and pizza. She hates garlic. Yuck, I hate garlic. Does she like this pizza hamburger? Yes, she does. I love pizza hamburger. It's my favorite food. After lunch, oh, I have a stomach ache. I think I like healthy food more than junk food. Guía de inglés número 8, Unit 1, Food and Health, Present Progressive. El objetivo de aprendizaje de esta guía es comprender y aplicar acciones de progreso y de tiempo, presente progresivo y expresiones de tiempo, now, ahora, in this moment, en este momento. Ítem número uno, simple present review. Watch the video, complete the dialogue. Do you like my new house? Which is the answer? Yes, we we do. We like your new house. Good. Then, yes, there are four pencils. Are there any pencils, John? How many pencils? Do you like pasta? Yes, I do. Pasta is my favorite food. Does she like pizza hamburger? Yes, she does. Remember, this is her favorite food. On the other hand, remember when you ask a question to a third singular person, she, he, or it, you don't add an S, I, E, S, or E, S at the end of the verb, because you're using the auxiliary verb does. Now, present progressive or present continuous. Present progressive or present continuous is to describe 
actions that are happening right now. When you write a present progressive or present continuous sentence, you do it like this. First, the pronoun. I, yo, he, él, she, ella, we, nosotros, they, ellos, you, ustedes, o tú. The verb to be, ser o estar. I am, yo estoy, he, she, it, él, ella o eso está. We, they, you, are. Están, estamos, estás. Cuando vas a negar, tienes que agregar después del verbo to be, not. Then, the verb with ing at the end. Reading. Watch in. Play in. And the rest of the sentence. What are you reading? A book. What are you watching? TV. What are you playing? Tennis. Let's check your answers. Remember, when it's a question, you have to add first the verb to be am, I am, is, he, she, it, is, are, you, we, are. The pronoun, I, he, she, it, you, we, they. The verb plus ing at the end and the question mark. For example, letter D, make a question. Am, am, I, cooking, dinner? Is, Jack, baking, Pi. In affirmation, first you have to write the pronoun, then verb to be am, I am, is, he, she, it, is, are, you, we, they are, plus the verb with ing at the end. For example, Kate is cooking a turkey for dinner. Mom Mom is a she, Kate is a she, is sit setting the table. John, John is a he, is making coffee. In negation is the same than affirmation, but you have to add not at the end of the verb to be. For example, pronoun M is R, not verb ing. Here, letter C, negative form. Fill in the blanks with is, or not, and or ing verb. I am not cooking. I pronoun am, verb to be, not, negation, cooking. The verb cook plus ing. Second example, he pronoun is, the verb to be not negation eating the verb eat plus ing third example she pronoun is verb to be not negation laughing laugh is the verb plus ing very good my new house Hello everyone, para esta semana el objetivo será comprender y aplicar acciones de progreso y de tiempo, presente progresivo y expresiones de tiempo now, ahora, in this moment, en este momento. Vamos a practicar el presente progresivo en la página 22 y vamos a practicar el uso de now, in this moment, en la página 23 y 24. Se añade una guía corta para poder practicar el presente progresivo. Comencemos. Let's go to page 22. 
Look at the pictures. Mira, observa las imágenes. Then, después, listen and repeat the sentences. Escucha y repite las oraciones. Track 24. Students book. Unit 1. Page 22. Exercise 1. A. The children are singing. B. The boy is reading a novel. C. She is playing video games. D. They are cooking dinner. E. Carl is taking a shower. F. The children are cleaning the house. G. Molly is drinking some fruit juice. H. They are brushing their teeth. I. She is having breakfast before school. First. Circle the time expressions at the moment or right now. Now in the exercise number one that express actions in progress. Let's circle. I'm helping mom at the moment. En el momento. She's cooking some eggs now. Ahora. I'm cleaning right now. Ahora mismo. And that's it. 